some of the critiques of Jason Aldean's Try That in a Small Town are ridiculous. Some people are jaw-droppingly claiming that it's a call to lynch black people. People are saying the video is a call to violence. So if you say you're going to defend yourself against looting, vandalism, rioting, armed carjacking, that you're somehow calling for the lynching of black people. How does that follow in any way unless you were to assume that black people and black culture stand for those things? And this notion that to stop people from committing those things is racist. Doesn't that show a lot of racism on behalf of so many of the people who are outraged at Jason's video? Isn't that mindset pretty much assuming that black people can't help but exude that kind of behavior? It's like people can't even remotely recognize their own racism, yet they want to call everyone else racist. It's strange how so many big cities have changed the laws to coddle bad behavior, like looting and shoplifting and vandalism, claiming that the laws against those things disproportionately affect black people. It seems that the plan is to loosen all the laws regarding crimes that disproportionately affect black people, as if that's a good way to stop racism. But, you know, whatever you promote, it can't be about protecting your family, you know, defending your family, your property, you know, or your profession or the business you work for, you know, your livelihood. Your profession is considered embracing capitalism. So you should be willing to throw that away at the drop of a hat, apparently. Defending your family and property is considered racist because not everyone has the opportunities to do such. But the most frustrating thing about, you know, different critiques of Aldean's song is that it's particularly more violent than other music that makes it to the top 20. I mean, if you compare it to probably 90% of popular rap and hip-hop, it's about as tame as you can get. There are no popular music genres that are more violent and that push brawn over brains than rap and hip-hop. I mean, this is a serious case of double standards. I used to not be very principled, which caused me to have a lot of double standards in my views. Over the past few years, I've worked very hard to have a very principled stance on things. There are a lot of people who don't seem to find it important at all to be principled. If something benefits them, they'll push for it. If it statistically has a negative effect on their group, they'll push against it. You know, regardless of why. Regardless of what it is. And because I'm principled on my own terms, there are some people who think I'm on the right, even the far right. And there are other people who think I'm on the left, even the far left. I just want to be as reasonable and consistent as possible. How about you?